Hello. This is happening. Let's get this shit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. First, let's what time is it? It is currently 8 13 a.m. on uh September 22nd, 2021. Yep. And we're on Eastern Standard Time, if that matters. Okay. Cool. The boy from the east side. So today we already have a list of things that we want to go over um, that we set up in Notion prior to this meeting. Uh, just some like ground rules that we want to set, benchmarks for this hundred days. So let's do that. Let's do one. Wait, wait. Ground rules? What ground rules? I don't know. They're not really ground rules. They're just I was like I say you made some rules I didn't know about. Not ground. Trying rules. to make this harder <laughs> on us. And they're like, what are they? They're just like the foundational things that we have to have set to make this as easy as possible on us as we yeah. work through it. Um, and we have those in our Notion board. All right, this is our Notion. Well, one of the pages. Um, so these are the things that we want to go over today um, and try to... Um, knock out I feel like we'll definitely do the first few branding I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be more of a process um and maybe just identifying what we want our business stock to be um cool yep so when you think about that next 100 days right what Mm -hmm. is your how do you envision it 100 days is a little bit more than three months it's actually what ten days more, three months and ten days. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so how I envision it is that we would um, spend like less than uh, a week or so getting like the foundational stuff set up, like getting our Notion board turned into an actual website. Um so that we can start sharing our content from a uniform place, um, start feeling out how we're going to share content. Um, what else? I'm, like this stuff, like planning out the, the benchmarks that we want to hit in certain times. Um, I think that personally, I think starting with products, digital products, um, and spending like at least the first 30 days knocking out designs, um, knocking out like designs, getting them up, starting to feel out like what it would look like to sell those. Um, and then from there, it's so hard to think that far into the future, like with something like this, but I'm thinking then in that next 30 days, also start to see if we can incorporate clients like taking real clients on um okay what do you think um i agree that i am more interested in starting with digital products just because i feel like the barrier to entry is a little bit lower um Mm -hmm. think about client work is you get you often there's there's two two parts of the client work one you know figuring out what and how you want well what it is you want to pitch and how you want to pitch it on yeah. one side and the other side is actually doing the pitching right going through and like reaching out to clients because as of right now nobody knows about us or what we're going to offer so yeah. um i feel like that has a little bit more of a process to it um so for the digital products i'd also think that i like the idea of digital products only be- simply because like you can kind of build it once and sell it multiple times and it can turn into a uh, a sort of form of recurring revenue uh obviously if we build something worth you know that's valuable where people share it um especially if we can leverage our audience um to kind of share the items that either they're using themselves or that they find interesting to kind of you know put it in front of more people Mm -hmm. that generates the opportunity the opportunity to obviously increase the revenue we can make off of those products now when it comes to digital products i mean which direction do you think you want to go are we looking at, I know we've talked about a couple of things before. So to give you guys some context, um, for those who are uh, watching, we have been thinking about this for a little while and have talked through some high level ideas. Um, and now comes the time just to grind down the implement. So I'm kind of going to go over some of the ideas we were looking at, uh, for one, 
we were thinking about doing uh, building website templates because website builders are pretty popular and a lot of people who use website builders aren't necessarily designers or technical people. So often they end up leaning towards starting off with a, uh, a website template of sorts to kind of get the ball rolling. And um, you got a couple of different website builders. I mean, obviously you got the most, like the big three, like uh, Wix, Shopify, Squarespace. Um, you have WordPress. Um, you have some new people coming up in the game, like show it. And um, all of these different builders often have template marketplaces where they host templates that are created by designers. Um, so that ends up being a storefront in which you can sell your designs um, or you can do the more independent route in which you create your designs and sell them yourself, which I think is something that we want to go more along the lines of simply mm-hmm. because we have more control over how we handle or how much and uh, re- re- revenue we get versus um, having to split that revenue with a service because they're hosting it, you know, on their storefront for us. So with that being said, um, I definitely think website templates are something that's on the radar. Uh, and maybe uh, like some other digital products too, like uh, perhaps maybe like some some guides related to the fields that we both you know participated in. Um, it could be we've thought about courses. My only my only qualm about courses is that that would take a lot of time, and I feel like that is a I feel like if we was to invest time in creating a course or multiple courses, that's gonna be like a hundred percent like a hit or miss. Like you'd have to go all the way with that and that probably that only versus I feel like with the other digital products, we'll still have time to develop, iterate multiple times, get audience feedback. And also we can pivot if we need to, or if the opportunity opens up for client services and things of that nature. So, um, so yeah, so that's just a basic overview of kind of some of the things that we talked about when it came to what direction we were thinking about going. But as of right now, we're looking at digital products first. Yeah. And I think from a marketing perspective, um, to piggyback off what you're saying about courses, like that takes a lot of marketing. Like it would take a lot of content marketing, I think, to build up the the trust with an audience that would be interested in the products that we would have, like in terms of courses. But I think that with templates, there's a lot of ways we could leverage social media like Pinterest and our platforms uh, and things like that to, to kind of like start building in more like based on a SEO type of leads. And then um, what else was I gonna say? I think that uh, I definitely think building our own platform to sell templates off of is good, but I think some platforms um, like they don't own the license. Like if you do sell on their marketplace, you can also sell on your own without it being an issue. Um, I know that some do that, so it could be an option, um, but I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get there and decide what feels best for us. Ooh. Okay, so what do we think that should look like then over the next 30 days, 100 days? Um. I think uh, setting a week for the original like kind of uh, groundwork of obviously getting a website at least idealized, Mm -hmm. Um, setting up which tools we want to use, which I think we already have an idea. So um, maybe we can create a page for like our business stacks that we can share that um, as well. Uh, Let's see. So we know our website. Oh, we know we want to create a website. We know what tools for the most part we want to use. Um, hmm, what else should we try and create? I guess the coming up with the, or at least going over some of the brand strategy that we had originally, you know, put some thought into um, mm-hmm. regarding like, you know, what name we're doing business under and, you know, all the things that kind of surround, surrounded around that. And then, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we that's something all those things can be completed within the week that mm-hmm. I'm not even that worried about. I agree. Uh, the content okay. strategy. Did you want to go over how we plan to do uh, the content surrounding all of this? Yeah. You want to talk about it right now? Yeah. I want to give them some ideas of uh, okay. how we want to um, share this. So we definitely want to be able to share across all of our platforms. Um, so we both use Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We're going to 
primarily focus like more of the, the richer long form content, obviously on our YouTube channels. Um, so how I'm envisioning that right now, it's going to be things like this that you see, things like um, overviews of our meetings, um, personal um, point of view type uh, videos. I also think that um, here and there, I'll probably pick up my camera and vlog a week or so to, to do that um, and maybe just share um, like weekly updates with you all to just kind of overview everything that we got done in a week or so. And on our TikToks, it's going to be more short form content. I see that being more of our daily updates just to keep you guys in, informed about what we're getting done each day, um, how things are going. Um, I think that'll be a good place to, to get more of the, uh, what is it called? Like to just see things as they unfold, how our emotions kind of go up and down through each day. And um, I also see like being able to do really short form, like value, valuable educational content as we learn things. Um, I think TikTok will be a good platform for that. And on Instagram, it'll be a lot of like the behind the scenes, um, more uh, shorter overview content. Um, do we want to talk about frequency? Yeah, I mean, so like you said, you already mentioned that TikTok's kind of primarily be like shorter form day-to-day -day mm -hmm. updates, right? So yeah. does that mean we're posting every day on TikTok? I will be. I don't want to put it on you, but I, I think we should. I think like, because I think it'll be fun um, from our perspective to say, okay, here are the couple of things that we wanted to get done today, or here's the one thing we wanted to get done today. And then updating maybe at the end of the day, like here's how far we got today. I'm cool with that. Um, and I think that is also good for us to hold each other accountable, hold ourselves accountable. <laughs> it's like a public stand up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> um, what about for, so obviously YouTube's going to be the long form content. Are we post posting um, our meetings like this all the time, every day on YouTube? No, I don't think so. I think here's my thought on this and obviously we can figure it out, but I think that we, any, big decision-making type meetings. Like this one's obviously a big one because it's our first. Um, whenever maybe things start to change rapidly, when we shift phases from one thing to another, I think those are bigger meetings that um, we would want to share. And then I think um, from there, we would share more of um, just like more higher level overview stuff mm -hmm. or in-depth, like here is one process that we went through like here's uh an overview of how we uh designed this template how we built it um more like how to or process driven content uh from there that okay makes sense. Mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah what it lastly i guess what it comes to instagram um i know we had lightly discussed that instagram would probably be used for more like behind the scenes stuff um Especially because you still don't have reels. So that's going to be kind of a burden uh, for at least using Instagram's algorithm, right? Yeah. So with that being said, how do you want to handle Instagram content? That's a good question. I'm still trying to figure it out myself um, because I've kind of given up on Instagram <laughs> because <laughs> how annoying. Um, yeah, honestly. I don't have reels and it's a platform that is focused on reels right now. So it's just an unfortunate situation um, for me. I know that I will probably only post on IGTV and stories from now on. Um, and that's for like my regular content and for this content. Um, I don't see myself like posting a lot of just like photos unless yeah. it's necessary. Um, yeah, for a while at least. I'm going to try that out. Just like focused on video content for now. Um, and with that being said, I think I would probably post like one to two minute shorter forms of like a vlog that I would post or like a condensed version of this meeting or something like that more or more of like 
our meeting from the behind the scenes perspective of like, okay, here's what was going through my head or um, here's how I got set up, prepared to film this content for you all, that kind of stuff. Um, and then on stories, I'm just gonna kind of take it as it goes, but unfortunately I'm probably gonna be using Instagram to kind of drive people to my other platforms um, and share them, share like TikToks or YouTube um, briefs just to kind of get people to, to go onto those other channels to get the full vision because Instagram doesn't want to play nice with me, so. it's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that being out the way, um, anything else you want to go over specifically while we have the next 30 minutes? Um, do you want to outline the full 100 days? I'm or do you think, that. do you I think, think um, do a, oh, go ahead. What was you going to ask? Go ahead. Cause that, I think we were about to say something. Anyway. Um, I think it would make sense to do so. I, I'm, I like working visually. So doing so on the calendar kind of gives us a high scope view of what it's actually going to look like. So yeah. for example, I know we said that we were looking at doing this, getting the foundation, uh, and the groundwork for our tools and stuff laid out mm -hmm. within the week. So does that mean by the end of this week? So like the 25th being this Saturday or like the 29th, which is next Wednesday? Um, I think by the 29th, because I feel like, well, what do you think? I don't know. Like in terms of the website, I have not used um, the platform you were talking about to use super. Mm. I haven't used that yet. And I know that feels like the best place for us to, to share um, but if, depending on if we decide we want to, uh, develop our own like thing for it, or just get a template that's already made, which I haven't been able to find any except the ones that they have on their marketplace, which is like eight of them. Yes. Uh, and I mean, so some of that will be, you know, we can use some of the templates or we customize it ourselves. Um, yeah. you know, all it is, is CSS. So I, yeah, you know, it's well within our cool. ability um but regardless i think that so like even with the website right mm -hmm. what do we want to show on this website because we're already going to be showing our journey across all the different uh platforms right so what do we want to use the website for obviously i, I know we want to eventually have a website to be our storefront but aside from that yeah is that something that, that you feel like you want to have is there a reason you want to have that set up sooner than later so I know that before when you were showing me super, we were talking about um, because it's so easy, because it's based in Notion, how it could be very easy for us to blog updates. And I feel like um, for two reasons, number one, having more than one form to share our content because we could share our videos with a blog and, and that be like another way of sharing content. So I feel like it stretches our content and makes um, provides more ways for people to kind of follow along. Um, I feel like it's a good place for us to have a uniform place to share. So like, um, because we're sharing on our separate channels, I feel like having a uniform place that we can kind of like say, okay, here's like the highlight highlighted content for the week or month or whatever. Um, I think that's a good thing. Um, making it easier on the people who are invested in the journey. And then also I'm not hundred percent sure about SEO on super, but I feel like for SEO purposes, like it could be fun to see how we could drive more eyes to what we're doing, mm -hmm. even uh, without having to reach them like through our social media necessarily. Okay. So, that's, so that's if we have the like, intention of getting the well, website, well. I agree that like mm -hmm. blogging and stuff will probably be pretty good. So I, I would say that um, if we have the intention of getting the website set up, I feel like a, a full week is a good idea, is a good start mm -hmm. for all the business uh, tasks. Obviously, if we can get it done sooner, great. But I feel like budgeting a week is fine. Um, yeah. So that would be the 29th, uh, which would be Wednesday. So yeah. then what would be our next step? Starting uh, with our designs for the templates. Yeah, I would say that. Um, so, yeah, I would say... Um, deciding where what platform we're going to use what specific I guess how we're going to package them how many we want to do 
like all that stuff and like figure that out in a day and then maybe from there just start knocking them out design wise and then knocking them out building wise um or development wise um I just don't I don't have a good idea of how long that might take or short should take because we don't want it to just take forever to build the designs and then right I, I definitely think we got time box it so how much time do you want to give max and maybe this is easier to say how much time do you want to be able to focus on the marketing and selling of those products um obviously the more the better uh to hit our goal so I think that um so my head is saying 30 days to have a set of templates to launch 30 days okay. after finalize web stuff or like tools and everything. What so do you basically think? all of October? Yeah. What do you think? You think we could do it quicker? I mean, we sh- I think do you think we should do it quicker? I mean, we, we could definitely like, I think it's possible. Cause I mean, at that point we only have, let me see. That would give us November and December for the marketing and selling of them, right? Um, and that's another thing. Like, are we? I think thirty days is fair. I'm not saying thirty days is a bad number, uh, but I'm like, is that thirty days going to be solely? I feel like if we're doing thirty days, it's not going to just be templates, unless okay. we just launch it with a lot of templates. Okay. And I'm very much in the line of less is more. Yeah. Depending on um, what it is that we want to, what kind of templates we want to offer. Uh, I would love to be able to have to budget some time to do some type of uh, some type of market research. Um, I know we kind of did some, in, you know, a while ago when it came to like, you know, looking at other, de- you know, show designers and other uh, template makers and kind of seeing an idea of like what it was that seemed to be trendy and consistent across uh, the competition. But I'd also like to get like user feedback, reach out to um, re- reach out to members of our target audience. Mm-hmm. and try and see like what are they looking for right mm-hmm. because i know while i know that templates is definitely an avenue I, I wonder if there is something else that we would that we're that we could possibly miss because we didn't take time to ask that's fair i like that um and i think that's valid because i think we could be more successful if we find a corner of the market that is not being mm-hmm. well served um, and I already know, like based on my own search for like, uh, building my own website, there are things that I personally would like to see that I don't see. Um, like what? So, hmm? like what, like what? So for me, I feel like I'm in this, like for myself, I'm in this weird place where I'm like sort of a content creator influencer type of situation where I, like, I want to um have like an aspect that's like business to business facing like for brand collabs things like that but also I'm sharing content with the purpose of helping people who are like more um starting their journey trying to to learn things and so it's really hard to find templates that would help you serve both things that are also an aesthetic that I like, because I like a darker, moodier, um, more like minimal, or I call it sophisticated look, where a lot of templates I see are very like bubbly, feminine, and bright and light type of vibes. And I don't vibe with that as much. So um, it's just hard to find something that combines all of those things, right? So um, I would be interested to see if there are other people who feel similar ways where it's like, there's nothing that serves like every need that I have um, or has the aesthetic that I like. Cause it's, it's hard to find this like this really good aesthetics in my I opinion. I think that you're really, uh, that you, you point out something very important, right? So you're one, you're really on to something there, at least in my, from my perspective, because you already found something like a pain point that you're experiencing as a content creator and as you know, an entrepreneur where you're trying to create a website that is um, suitable to face both, you know, consumer first and B2B stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and you can't find any that really match your aesthetic. Awesome. That's the, you, you want to, uh, that's a really good way to figure to find your first customer yourself, mm-hmm. right? Take some of the things that you already know that you want. And from there, chances are there are a lot of other people like you. Mm-hmm. So I think that should be something that we hone in on 
Yeah. Um, and even if we like, like say run a quick, like little survey, whether it's on Instagram or TikTok or um, anywhere else for that matter, just to see like, Hey, listen, like for those of you who are, you know, entrepreneurs who are creators or whatever, people who are looking to build your own website, what are some of the things that you, you know, either hate about the process or things that you're missing? What, what haven't you been able to find? And this right. vast marketplace of templates and tools. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I think like that's a good that. place to start. Yeah. Okay. So we will be doing market research. Um, not even you through that, but. And that's another thing. So like, um, I know part of this is something that we're going to kind of outline with our, uh, the brand strategy stuff, but like our target audience, like is, is that going to be the same as we discussed before or are we do you want to save that conversation for when we start going into the brand strategy or what are you thinking um that's a good question so i was thinking about this because i feel like it's it's interesting because we we both have a desire with our personal brands to reach people from the communities we've come from um and i think showing the process of us doing that can benefit those communities. But I think that also our target audience might not always completely overlap with the people who we are trying to help also. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like there's, I feel like we are speaking to two, we will be speaking to two audiences in a sense. Mm -hmm. And so figuring out how to do that in a way that doesn't confuse or overwhelm either of those audiences, um, that's going to be, we need to talk about that. I feel like we need to set time aside to really like strategize that because that's not something I feel like we just just said. Um, and maybe even just looking to see if there are other people who do the same thing where they are serving one community while um selling to another i guess yeah I th- and i think there's there are examples of that yeah mm-hmm. um so yeah i mean we, we could talk about that when we uh go over our, our brand strategy stuff yeah but okay. okay so we got the first week lined out which is basically like setting up all the tools mm-hmm. getting all that structured um before we start looking at it doing some more market research and mm-hmm. things of that nature. What about, um, we, t- we also said that we're going to give ourselves 30 days to build out our first set of digital products. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just make a card there. So we have digital products. Are you on the task calendar? Uh, I'm actually on the calendar view. And they're all the same. It's just how it looks. Bam. Okay. Beautiful. And then, um, obviously, November is when we're going to start. Well, a lot there's going to be marketing efforts leading up to this because right. the fact that we're going to be creating content around this process is marketing in itself. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that people are going, we're going to have a lot of social proof um, along the way mm-hmm. kind of generated. Mm-hmm. Uh, but obviously, I guess we'll be actually running like our own like marketing campaigns for yeah these products um, there yeah we'll definitely have to budget some time to figure out how to campaign this like on platforms where our target audience is going to be looking mm-hmm. um so yeah that might happen that might overlap honestly with us build the pro- products a little bit um Cause are we like launching that suite of products on November 1st uh, and then figuring out our marketing or do we want to do it opposite? Honestly, I would be okay with just launching it as we finish it. Like there's okay. no, nothing says we got to launch it. We got to save them all until they're all complete. That's true. Once, that's right? true. I wasn't thinking like that, but yeah, I think that's, you're right. Cause I also think we're going to be continuously iterating over these products. So like, you know, release it out. Maybe we'll, we'll give, uh, I don't know, in the form of like, you know, the website templates, maybe we'll give like, you know, a couple of free codes to people to test out, play around with, um, mm-hmm. to use, 
and then um that lead up to us eventually just releasing it and Mm -hmm. um those releases may be staggered by you know obviously how soon we complete the other ones i like that okay we will do that um okay i don't feel like i feel like we should feel it out we don't need to necessarily lay out i feel like it's it's good to have a, a high level idea i'm not uh, me creating these cards is not at all like set mm-hmm. in stone right like you said we're obviously yeah. going to fill it out but at least having some semblance of a, like okay this is the plan this is the, the yeah uh, kind of the 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 mm-hmm. block the, the limits we're gonna uh, impose on ourselves you know what i mean sure, yeah um okay so first month building our suite of products um i feel like second month will be if we haven't already searching for clients okay in addition to obviously marketing right doing the market like marketing our the, the, the digital products and again this may overlap but i think that um i'll be actually uh interested in like really implementing <laughs> you forgot to a and search implementing the um <laughs> the more client side of side of things uh during that month because i feel like it will be kind of difficult to do them both simultaneously but as we're mm-hmm. finishing up the you know last few products we want to offer of however many marketing to clients and stuff will be the next major step i'm gonna just put these both there because i think uh, we'll just do it like that and just um oh wait um and we'll just cross that bridge and get there but that's how we know um and then what does the final month december now also december is a holiday kind of month lots of holiday stuff happens um that doesn't really uh i don't really have like i gotta put the Second. Oh, it's your birthday in July. I remember that. 29th. Uh, oh, that's uh <laughs> wrong day. 29th is this of December, not oh. <laughs> oh, you're on end of the year. Yes, Maybe. all the way at the end. Wow. Two days before <laughs> the end of our challenge. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Um, okay. So that's interesting. I feel like what, cause I, I want to be realistic. Cause like, if there's other things going on, cause it obviously like that's a double holiday for you, Vanda. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, do I. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like have huge plans at the moment, but I know that just as time unfolds, those plans happen. So I feel you. I, my thing is this, I mean, um, gonna be 100 percent focused on this i might go visit my family for christmas but my laptop's gonna be with me so best Same. believe i'm gonna okay. be working <laughs> this is yeah i feel like okay. december is gonna be like grind like it's gonna be crunch yeah. right just trying to get out as much as we can talking mm-hmm. as much as we can and like mm-hmm. you know obviously just trying everything else that we can do it the last month to make to make that goal yeah okay. how do you want to handle like the reporting of our revenue right Mm. like are we just gonna have it part of our weekly uh yeah i think weekly like if we do some type of weekly overview just saying like here's what we did and here's how much um we are plus and minus for this week um yeah i like i like a weekly thing i think we should celebrate our first sale and then from there weekly okay. we make it for sale a big deal um cool i like that and i agree um in terms of december i i feel like it'll just be a combination of a bunch of stuff so i am inclined to agree yeah 
But all right, I think we got a good place to start. Yeah. Obviously, our next meeting will be probably just starting the brand, the well, I guess listing out all the tools that we want to sign up for, like, or like sign up for the pro plans of, of, um, and then from there, uh, going over the branding stuff. Yep. Because that'll kind of dictate how we handle everything else going forward, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think this this makes me feel good. Um, I think keep it was hanging in the air for a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, we weren't really. We were saving it for the actual launch day to kind of plan things out. So I'm glad that we're finally setting some things in stone. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on in these final few minutes? Um, not really. I got work. At, I got my stand, stand up, my full time job in eight minutes. So I'm going to go make me some espresso. Nice. So I can go ahead and. Uh, Do you have a, um, a mocha pot or something? I have a breville espresso machine that mm-hmm. i spent way too much on because i like caffeine mm. i want to get a mocha pot a mocha pot yeah they're like i think they started in in italy go figure but uh you can like make oh. them on the stove top oh yeah okay i love Excellent. the the slow pour type stuff anyway Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, you too. I mean, oh, so you, you want to meet back up later on 6 30 ish? Yeah, we can do that. Go ahead and do the branding stuff. Yep. Let's do that. All right, bet. If you come across anything in the meantime, hit me up. I will. Sounds good. All right. This concludes our first meeting. So it begins. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. All right.